He upheld the law, loved his family, but would meet the one man who would cause him to cross over the edge. Then death became his partner. They say, you think I'm gonna hurt your family? Come on, what kind of animal do you think I am, huh? Can't show my face anywhere, let alone a U.S. border. Unless, of course, I'm detained and escorted by, say, an FBI agent. Blackmailed to work for a drug cartel that spans the continent. How's our FBI friend? Out of the picture. They get my family. Jeff, no, they don't. Now he's declared war and is taking no prisoners. I wish we had Crazy Jeffy on our side. Well, we don't. Crazy Jeffy was psycho enough to walk in there and do that once. And he's psycho enough to do it four times. Jeff is one of our own. He's gonna get himself killed. He's not one of ours anymore. Command just retired his badge. This man is haunting us. He's just one guy, for Christ's sakes, LeFleur. You promised protect and serve. They took my wife, they took my kids. I got nothing left. Son of a bitch, you're all gonna die. Hey folks, this is Matt once again, and uh, one of my best friends on here, Efri, recommended this film to me. And with him and the help of uh, Dram 707, I was able to see this film, Zero Tolerance, from 1994, starring Robert Patrick. <clears throat> now right off the bat, this film gets a 4.8 on IMDb. And yet, if I type in another revenge film, because this is a revenge movie called Faster, that gets a 6.5, and that to me is why I lose faith in audiences a lot of the times. If you like Faster, that's fine, I'm not going to ridicule you for liking Faster, but if you watch Zero Tolerance and then watch Faster, please, 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 please explain to me why, quote, Zero Tolerance would be worse than Faster, or that faster would be better than Zero Tolerance because they're both revenge films but as a uh, thing Jerome 707 said faster should have just been called slower or in my opinion should have just been called freeze as in just have one still of the movie frozen and that'd be better than watching the fucking movie because nothing happens in that movie faster I did a rant on faster it's a fucking boring ass movie nothing fucking happens in the film Except a bunch of pretentious shit about all oh, the Bible to do and hit men who fucking do it for a dollar. You wanna know what I mean? Watch my rant of faster. More like foot stitch. As in, you want to play with your foot stitch, that'd be more interesting than watching faster. But this is about zero tolerance. Very fun film. I enjoy this film. Directed by a guy named Joseph Murphy, which I'm trying to look up his info, what he's done. Apparently he's done a bunch of stuff. He's directed a bunch of movies. Apparently, I think he used to own pizzerias in Las Vegas, actually, before doing films. But he's directed a bunch of movies. He's directed... He actually directed Rage and Riot. Okay, this is the same guy who directed those. Those are two very solid Gary Daniels films. Rage and Riot. So that makes sense that this is a fun film. This guy, just from those three films alone, definitely a good director. I haven't seen his other stuff, but those three films alone. Let's see, Executive Target, Direct Hit to be the best. CIA Koname Alexa, 
Final Impact, Maximum Force. Nice names. But, uh, yeah, he directed this. I guess he was uh, one of the owners of PM Entertainment, actually, Joseph Murray. And this is PM Entertainment. These guys, The more I see of this company's films, the more I just shake my head and go, why is it that action films today that go direct to DVD cannot fucking take a page from these PM Entertainment films? Because these PM Entertainment films, right, like Zero Tolerance, which I'll get to, they look like films. direct to dvd films don't look like movies anymore. I don't know if it's just the film quality they use. When I mean a film, I mean like... You look at a direct to dvd film, it seems like they got a different type of camera that looks cheaper. As if it's, you know, I just have a video camera. Like, I don't know, the, the film quality just seems cheaper. The colors and I don't know what it is. But if you watch an older film, you watch 50-50, you watch, hell, watch any older film of the 80s, the 90s, whatever, and then watch a directed DVD film from like Lionsgate or one of Steven Seagal's fucking movies today, it looks cheaper. And plus the camera is always doing this. I'm wearing shorts, by the way, because it's fucking hotter, hotter than fucking Roseanne Barr's asshole. Like, no, no shit. That's why I'm wearing shorts. Short shorts. It's harder than fucking shit. But they're always doing this and fucking move action movies. Like, do you understand what the fuck I did? I don't. And yes, by the way, I am wearing shorts. That's why. I, okay, I'm not naked. Sorry, just trying to be funny. But zero tolerance. Getting to the point. Yeah, Robert Patrick is an FBI agent, and he's basically been sent to transport this guy. Uh, the character's name is Ray Mantis, an uh, actor named Titus Welliver. And I really enjoy this guy. I, I really liked him. Uh, he's been in a few stuff. He's been in The Town that Ben Affleck directed, a really solid film, The Town. And the reason I'm looked Gone Baby Gone, also where would Ben Affleck on that, another great movie. He was in Biker Boys. I'm basically looking because I I swear he's the same guy. And I want to confirm it before I say anything. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. The bad guy in this film. He was in the very first X Files episode I ever saw. And I'm a huge fan of X-Files, for those who know me on my channel, I'm a big fan of X-Files. This guy who plays the bad guy, Titus Welliver, he was in the very first X-Files I ever saw. It was an episode called Darkness Falls, with about the bugs. Because it took place in the, the forest, workers were running, there was these bugs that were cocoon you in the fucking trees, Fox Mulder and Scully went to look. He played the character Doug Spinney, like a guy who they thought was causing everything, He's one of those guys who wants to protect the environment, like monkey wrenches. You know, guys who fuck up the, the machines because they don't want them cutting down the forest. He's pro and he's pro with, he's with the environment. Kind of environmental guy. I remember him. I'm like, I know this guy looks familiar. But he is the same guy, okay. And I really enjoy him. He's a fun bad guy. He has a good sense of humor to him. He's not too over the top. He's not too... A stiff or anything like that but, but he's in the Mexican jail Robert Patrick and his buddies and they have some fun with him and his buddies listening to a hockey game but as they're going it changes to this Mexican station one guy gets pissed and then Patrick Ro Robert Patrick's like yeah 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 <laughs> and the other guys get mad and they both the three guys both of them start saying yeah 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 <laughs> Just giving the guy crap. But again, they're there and transport this guy from the Mexican jail. But right off the bat, there's an escape attempt. Motorcycles and the guys in the truck start shooting. Really well done. Well filmed. Um, I understood the little, everything that was going on. A lot of firepower. His buddies get killed and he jumps out of the car and starts shooting them. Going to town, gets a shotgun, boom boom. Fucks up the truck and some of the bad guys. But the, the main one, the, what was it, uh, Ray Manta, the 
guy that Titus Welliver plays. He's escaped. And so Robert Patrick is able to call superiors and calls his wife. But as he's calling his wife, the bad guys go in to grab his wife and kid while he's on the phone. At the same time, uh, Ray Manta, he comes in and tells Robert Patrick, I need this stuff delivered to Vegas. Now, people know my face, but if I'm delivered by you, you know, FBI agent, then things will go fine. And he's going to do it so that they don't hurt his family, but unbeknownst to him, they still, over there, still kill his wife and kid while he's escorting the guy. But again, the, the bad guy he has a fun sense of humor to him. He's uh, entertaining to watch. He's not over the top. He's not goofy or annoying or irritating. He does a good bad guy. And Robert Patrick takes him over. Because I guess the, the bad guy is part of this thing called the White Hand. It's where this droid or in his droid cartel. And Robert Patrick's waiting in the limo. And he knows that something's going on and realizes they're going to blow up the limo. So he escapes right in the nick of time. Runs. Calls. And then a lady picks up saying that his family's been killed. And Robert Patrick does a great performance. Um, you really buy when he's crying. You don't laugh at it. You really buy that he's just lost his wife and kids. He comes back. He's been put on vacation. And... Yeah, yeah, I grant typical, but it's well done. Robert Patrick sells it. He's a, I like him as an actor. Uh, sorry, got a little bit of slobber there. He's about ready to shoot himself, but he get, hears a knock on the door, and it's this woman who says, you know, he, it's a friend of his, and says, no, you better keep going to his. I'm going to be your partner. I made a transfer. And I really commend Robert Patrick's performance. Definitely one of his best films, I think. One of his best movies, Robert Patrick. Um, right, boom, right off the bat, another thing happens where bad guys try to get into his home. And he's fucking bad guys up, smacks one in the stomach and beats the shit out of him. Shoots one, gets one, pumps boom, 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 right through his fucking stomach. You know, saving his, you know, future cop partner. Um, and he says it's over. And basically now he's about ready to fuck some shit up. And he gets some info and like he goes to a casino and he gets like this with one of those guns with the laser light, laser lighting and boom, shoots him right in the head. Awesome shootout scenes. Really well done for... I don't know why they can't fucking do this for directed DVD films today. I really don't. It, it, there's no excuse. It's the same fucking budgets. The PMA Entertainment films didn't have gigantic budgets. But he shoot with two guns through the casino, practical squibs, practical explosions, lots of bodies hitting the floor, big body count, boom, 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 well done. It's that shaky cam. And once again, I'm like, why can't they do this today? Shoot, bum, 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 bum. Gets in the fucking street. More bad guys coming. He gets a gun and a double barrel shotgun in one. Boom, boom. He's on the motorcycle, slides. Gets a, shoots a fucking big sign that smashes to a car that, like, either flips and explodes. Lots of action and practical and non-shaky. <laughs> really well done. Then he's on a flight going to next guy's going to kill and has this cute kid uh, talking with him. And then just another guy like hits uh, the car with the screwdriver to so gasoline fills, lights it, drives with the fucking fire going behind him into the warehouse. And once again, he just shoots the shit out of a bunch of bad guys. One has this giant fucking gun, like every time he shoots, it's an explosion. It's fun. I mean, I know it's silly, but it's a boom, psh, boom, psh. And they think they kill Robert Patrick, but he goes to his dance club, beats up one fucker in the bathroom, gets to the guy who's a, a black guy, again, he's one of the white hand drug cartel guys, and then shoots him, turns a gun, boom, boom, and basically says, I'm gonna kill you all. Fucking leaves. 
goes to the next guy, climbs on the cliff at night, because like a how rich guy's house by the cliff. Once again, kills a bunch of fucking thugs, kills the guy, about ready to kill him, looks that triggered the alarm, gets down, shoots him. Basically gets out, shooting bad guy, shooting bad guy. His uh, female partner is there, and they have a chase scene where I think she throws a grenade and blows up a car behind them. And these cops, like, they have a good, you know, conversation. You know, that's her typical, come on, you know, you don't be just like them. A lot of, like Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher. To be, that's the kind of vibe you get. Dolph Lundgren is the Punisher. You know, you get a partner saying you're not like them. What do you think you're doing? The courts decide. We just uphold the law. Oh well, I can admit I love Dolph Lundgren is the Punisher a lot more than this. But this is still a fucking solid film. <clears throat> And as the movie goes on, they get grabbed by arrested. Then the bad guys show up with a helicopter and they kill the cops. And there's like two helicopters and one's landed. And Robert Patch just drives his fucking car, boom, right into the helicopter. Practical effect. I enjoyed the fuck out of it. And the bad guys took his partner and the other. And Robert Patrick sort of hitches a ride and gets there and shoots some thugs. Have a little fight with the guy, beats the sh Ray Manta, knocks him the fuck out. And they would take the guy to his superiors. But the but the ending just kind of let me down. Like the ending is like okay, he comes in and it's like he shoots like three thugs, gets in a half-ass fight, and arrests this guy. This is the guy who actually killed your fucking. The other guys, they didn't really know. Some of them didn't even fucking know about. I mean, they deserved to die, but they fucking didn't know. And this is the motherfucker who actually did it. You don't just okay. I know why it was still finding kind of bullshit. And then, like, these cops know that he was being a vigilante, but his superiors know this. But, like, they're going to let him go anyway, like, with no question about it. And then the guy tries to pull a gun, and Robert Patrick just does, like, this and pushes the guy out the window. And the thing is, like, he's handcuffed. But then when you see him out the window, ah, he's like this, his arms, ah. Then when he lands, he's right back with the handcuffs. And I'm like, that was so fucking obvious. Like, the first time I saw him, I'm like, what? He's like... He's pushed out the window like this, and then when he flies out, ah, with his arms like this, then when he lands, he's like this again. And then basically, the spirit goes, is it over? Or what's up, or something? And he's like, it's over. And then boom, it cuts to him on a motorcycle, and this shitty fucking song at the end. This movie, I really enjoy. I would give it like an 8, 9 out of 10. It would have been perfect score because it is what it is. It's very fast paced, tons of action. It's not pretentious. Robert Patrick is fucking solid. And honestly, please tell me why Faster is should is gets a higher rating than this. They're both revenge films, but Robert Patrick does a great acting job. It's a much more faster pace. You got tons more action. Very well done action. Practical bull squids, practical gunfights, explosions, tons of stuff going on, big body count, a fun bad guy by Titus Welliver, but yet why does this only get 4.8 and faster get 6.5? Please exp explain to me that. Explain to me that. Please do. Faster is fucking boring. It's boring. This is not boring. But it just doesn't get the perfect rating because the ending, in my opinion, kind of sucks a little bit. The one guy who deserves it? No, I'm going to take you back. And then... 
All he does is just get pushed out a fucking window. And then... The superiors just let him go. And I'm like, you know he was a vigilante. And you just let him go. And, like, that's it? I don't know. It's kind of like, oh, what? Like, before, the, the female partner was talking about how, oh, okay, you're just going to let him do this. And then when it's done, you're going to put him in jail and give him the gas chamber. But then that doesn't even come into play? Like, huh? Like, he, uh... And then, like, the, the big mistake that I, I noticed with the handcuff thing. And then ending cut away to a very, very, very fucking shitty song at the end credits. Fucking shitty. Hate that fucking song. Like, I, I swear to God, at first I heard it, I thought it was, like, one of those Asian pop songs. I'm like, is this guy speaking English? Is this a... Who the fuck is this guy saying? Is it Japanese? Is that that guy from Ninja Assassin? Is he singing this? Because he's a pop star. Just, but you know, I, I really enjoy the film. Robert Patrick's on his A game. The bad guys a lot of fun. Very, very fast paced. Tons of action. Well done action. Practical squibs, explosions. A lot of fun. A lot of entertainment. Definitely give this a high mark, but the ending should have been better. It was kind of a half ass ending, in my opinion. Like, if he's beating the fucking guy and you know, shoots him, or, you know, like, I watched Cobra, and he beats the fuck out of a guy and puts his ass right in that fucking hook. So he's, oh, uh, and then slams his ass right into that fucking incinerator to burn alive, you know. Or Charles Bronson in Death Wish 3, gets that fucking bazooka, you know. But just, you know, the, I mean, it's... It's better than the ending of Faster, but a lot of endings are better than Faster. But I, again, I realize zero tolerance. I, I get, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Uh, it's really solid. If you like action films, you owe it to yourself to see this because Robert Patrick's great. Definitely one of his best roles. Lots of fun action. This director did a good job handling it. And once again, I don't know why A, Faster gets higher marks. It does not deserve it. And B, why is it that action films, especially directed DVD, cannot take... They need to take lessons from the PM Entertainment films. Please. That would be nice. But either way, that's zero tolerance. Um, definitely give it a look. Uh, Dran 707 has it up on his channel. Because I'm damn skippy, it'd be hard to find a DVD of this. So, once he did Dram 707, he has to film up. Thank you for uploading that. I was able to see that. Um, very entertaining film. Very fast paced to the point. And not boring at all. Just that ending. Yeah. But either way, uh, definitely check out the film. Um, and thanks once again, Dram 707. Thanks once again, Effie, if he's watching out there. And. Uh, awesome flick. So thanks for watching and take care. Later.